So the next question is to talk about what is degenerative disc disease. The topic of degenerative disc disease is in fact more of a medical condition than a disease. Oftentimes we have questions on what does this mean, doctor? It's on my report. Why all this degenerative disc disease? So we're going to talk about that briefly. Degenerative disc disease uh, is an entity or condition of the spine as it applies to the joints of the spine, the areas that provide range of motion, and the structural portions of the spine, the disc spaces, and the bones above and below them that help bear the load of the spine. The degenerative disc disease, in fact, is the wearing and tearing and the aging process that's in fact somewhat expected in all of us across all these joints and areas that provide motion. Degenerative disc disease is very analogous to osteoarthritis, the wearing and tearing and the age-related changes that are associated with any one of our joints in the knees or the hips or in our hands, for example. So when you apply that across the spine, you can see it focally or be exacerbated in a certain part of the spine, either a certain number of disc spaces lower in the spine or the joints off to the side can show these signs that are seen on are images such as an MRI or a CAT scan. These bones get harder, they get grittier, they look and feel calcified. The joint spaces, typically very wide, just like a hip joint or your shoulder or a knee that provide all of that smooth range of motion, become thinner and they become stiffer and they don't move as much or provide range of motion. What happens is, is when people start to have pain, either in their back, their buttocks, their neck or their arms, we are tasked with finding out where the source of the pain is. Is it that joint? Is it accelerated in its wear and tear? Or is it something else associated with the nerves or the spinal cord, for example? So again, the, the term degenerative disc disease is not necessarily a disease at all. It's an entity. It's a medical condition that's reflective of the age-related changes that are in the spine, how we wear and tear gracefully throughout life, hopefully with no symptoms whatsoever. And when those things are localized or focal found in the spine, they can produce pain and produce symptoms that we have to sort out with patients. And we do that uh, and walk them through that process to see if they need any treatment.